Charlie Hunnam is mad at his fans, and we're going to tell you why. But first, Dr. Luke denies he's being ditched by Sony Music in his legal battle with Kesha. Not so fast. A new report has surfaced saying Sony Music is feeling the PR pressure of Kesha's legal battle with Dr. Luke after a slew of celebs from Taylor Swift to Adele to Demi Lovato spoke up in support for the singer. And so, the report claims, the record label is planning to drop the music producer who Kesha accuses of sexually and verbally assaulting her. However, reps for Dr. Luke say this is not going to happen and that he still has, quote, an excellent relationship with Sony. But The Wrap reports a source saying Sony feels they can't, quote, afford for the Adele's of the world calling the label unsupportive. This is the latest development in a nasty battle that began in 2014 when Kesha first filed a lawsuit against her former producer and Sony to exit her record deal. So far, the courts have sided with Sony due to lack of evidence to support the abuse claims, and Dr. Luke has denied all accusations. Charlie Hunnam has a message for his fans. Stop attacking his girlfriend. The Sons of Anarchy star shared a lengthy post on his Facebook page directed at fans who have been insulting his longtime girlfriend, businesswoman Morgana McNellis, on social media. Hunnam says, quote, Think about the logic of this for a moment. This is a girl I love very much and have spent the last 11 years of my life with and hope to spend the next 60 years. Why would you attack her out of admiration for me? It makes no sense. Hunnam later confirmed that the blast was indeed from him in a video message. The genesis of social media was a way to create a forum for people to make new friends and to sort of express different ideas, not as a, a new forum for bullying. This is Colonel Powell. She's going to walk you through the capture of Aisha al Hadi, aka Susan Danford. Critics are calling Alan Rickman's last performance in Eye in the Sky one of his best. Rickman, who died in January after a battle with cancer, plays a military official in the film, which also stars Helen Mirren. Hello Canada caught up with the Academy Award winner for this week's issue. But one of the really touching discussions that we had with her was about the late Alan Rickman. She just had so many wonderful things to say about him and about him in in the role in this movie. Find out what else Helen Mirren had to say to Hello Canada on newsstands and in your Texture by Next Issue app today. It's safe to say Canadian Screen Week is in full swing, with 49 more awards handed out at last night's gala, where the spotlight was on drama and comedy. Terry Hart caught up with the stars on the red carpet. You get excited about this stuff? Yes. How can you not? You know, it's our night. How much do you love being an actor in this country? Uh, out of one to ten, a thousand. Are you particularly proud that you made this in Canada? It's. It's an amazing thing. It's a wonderful thing, especially now that the show is on in the States, to talk so proudly of all of our production, our crew, our cast. It's an entirely Canadian production. So to see it recognized in Indonesia and New Zealand and Europe, it's just a wonderful thing. You were part of a show that kind of broke some barriers this year. What does it mean for you guys to be here? It's a huge opportunity. It's really huge for um, for our show to sort of break that diversity barrier. Watching the Oscars, I think something that came out was it, it's really important to have opportunity for people of color, and this right here is a, is a fantastic opportunity. Remember, Entertainment City will have all of your red carpet coverage from Sunday's big show, the fourth annual Canadian Screen Awards. And remember to get your entertainment news here first in the morning and on Twitter too at Ant City.